Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at headers and footers in numbers. So here I am in a blank spreadsheet and by default I get a header column and a header row. So here in the header row I may want to put different column headings and in the header column here I may want to put different row identifiers for each item in the database. What I don't get is a footer and footers are very useful. Now suppose I have a sample spreadsheet. I'll just type in some numbers and say I want to get the average. So I'll, I'll be tempted to put the formula right here at the bottom of numbers. And I'll just select all of these. And there I've got the average there at the bottom. Um, now how do I signify this is something different? Well I may put a different heading over here or I may make this bold in some way. Um, and if I want to insert more values I have to insert them here in the middle uh, adding one before this. Also what if I sorted this here? You can see it actually puts my average now inside of the sort. So that's probably not what I want. I want this to be a special cell that treats everything above it as the data that goes into this formula. Let me instead insert a footer row. Now there's something in the toolbar here that you can't see. It's just under me. Uh, but you can also go to table footer rows and to find the number of footer rows I'm going to set it to 1. And you can see now I've got this footer row at the bottom. Now I can select in here and I don't even need to type in a formula. I can actually go up to the toolbar here to function. <coughs> I can see some common formulas here. For instance let's do average. And you can see it figures out the average and it's even smart enough to realize that all of these cells are empty and not to factor them into the average. Now I can add something to any one of these cells and it will instantly update the average there at the bottom taking into account what I've put in there. Now the cool thing is is if I sort this Notice that it doesn't sort the footer row into this. This is considered the body uh, right here of the spreadsheet and the footer is considered something separate. Now I can go ahead and add another footer row and let's make this one the sum. So you can see I can have the sum and the average and I can add uh, a whole bunch of different footer rows here at the bottom for different things and they won't get mixed in with all of this. So if you've already seen the advantage of header columns and header rows is that they also aren't involved when you do things like sorting. So if I were to put this here and then I were to um, sort these, that whole B column there, uh, it wouldn't move the header row. It would be there by itself. Another cool thing you can do with header uh, cells like this is you can go to table and you can freeze the header rows. That means that as I scroll down you can see that the header row there with my label in it stays static. I can still see it. So that's very useful if you have a very long table and you want to keep these things in view at all times. And then you can do the same thing here on the left uh, if I were to uh, put identifiers for each row here and then scroll over to the right if I had a lot of columns here I would still see column A as I scrolled over to the right. If you've been using spreadsheets for a long time you might still be building your spreadsheets without headers and footers since they really weren't things that were available in the early days of spreadsheets. So uh, if you use numbers I would start using these and they have applications in all the different tables and all the spreadsheets that you create and make things a lot easier. I hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.